Thought I'd make a bunch of exam question walkthrough videos for the AS analytical techniques topic. So this is the first one. And as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. I'm going to do this slightly differently. So I'm just going to, as I'm processing the information, I'm just going to jot down sort of ideas that pop into my head, that sort of thing. So gathering the evidence and then we'll come up with a sort of polished answer at the end. So we've got six alcohols to choose from. Compound X is one of them. And we're told that the student refluxes the uh, alcohol with acidified potassium dichromate 6, which is obviously an oxidizing agent. So all of these alcohols potentially are going to be oxidized. So the first thing we need to do is ask ourselves, what kind of alcohols have we got? So now we've established whether the alcohol is primary, secondary or tertiary, we now need to think, well, what would this alcohol give when refluxed with the oxidizing agent? Okay, so you can see that the primary alcohols would both generate carboxylic acids when refluxed with the oxidizing agent. Tertiary alcohols can't be oxidized and the secondary alcohols would all make ketones. So if we move on to the spectra now, so remember these are the spectra for the product of the oxidation of the alcohol, substance Y. So first thing we can say from the mass spectrum is the MR of Y is 86. That's the molecular ion peak, the peak furthest to the right. Now we'll just park that there because I want to come back to the mass spectrum at the end just to try and allocate one of these fragment peaks, probably that one there, I would imagine. But we can't really do that until we know what the uh, substance is. So moving on to the infrared spectrum now for Y, we can see two things about this. The first thing is we haven't got the sort of typical OH absorption, either of a carboxylic acid or an alcohol. So these are just CH absorptions. So what I'm going to write on here is there's no OH in substance Y. But we can see that it has got, from this absorption here, a C double bond O. So what we can say now is, because Y was formed by reflux oxidation, we haven't got an OH, so it's not a carboxylic acid. That means the alcohol X must be a secondary alcohol, which means that Y is a ketone. Okay, so I've tried to summarize that as an answer so far. We're not finished yet, but so far, what can we say? The mass spectrum of Y shows that the MR is 86. That's from the molecular ion peak or the peak furthest to the right. And then the infrared spectrum of Y shows the presence of a C double bond O from that absorption at 1700 centimetres to minus one. And it also shows there's no OH group present due to the absence of an OH absorption between two and a half thousand and 3600 centimetres to minus one. That's where your OH absorptions would occur. So since Y was formed by reflux oxidation, X must therefore be a secondary alcohol. So there's my list of secondary alcohols. So if we think about what they would form under oxidation now. So these are the products of the oxidations of those three alcohols. And what you'll find if you work out the MR of the three products, this one here has an MR of 86. So E was the alcohol in question. So the only thing left to do now is write the equation for this oxidation and we'll go back to the mass spectrum and assign one of the fragment peaks. So there's the equation. Just remember to use O in square brackets to represent the oxidizing agent. So go back to the mass spectrum. So let's try and allocate this fragment peak here. It's got an M over Z value of 43. So how can we get 43? We can break that bond there. So that fragment peak at 43 could be due to CH3 twice CH plus. Whatever you do, don't forget that positive charge. Or if this bit carries the positive charge, CH3CO plus, it's also got an M over Z of 43. 